Come with me, come and see all the wonders there will be in my stories, in my songs, in everything where fun belongs. We'll meet heroes, giants bold, is it lands for thought and gold, have magic tricks to shiver your skin, that's galore with animals in our world of fun. Hi, Piper, hi! Our tale today is about a little girl whose kind heart brought her a new friend and much happiness, but only after a lot of trouble. She lived in a hut with her old father. And very happy they were. But then the old man took himself a new wife, and suddenly the little girl found herself with a cruel stepmother who wouldn't even let her sit at the table for meals. This is all you're going to get. Now be off with you. Who is it? Who's there? Oh, you poor thing. You're hungry. In return for your kindness, I will do you a favor by warning you about your stepmother. She is the sister of a wicked witch. If she ever sends you to her sister, be on your guard. And sure enough, the very next day, Go at once to your aunt who lives in the forest and tell her I want to borrow a needle and thread. Here's some food. Now I'll be off with you. Oh, little brown bird, I'm so glad to see you. My stepmother has sent me to her sister, the witch. Just as I feared. Don't worry. Your kind heart will protect you. All the same, I would advise you to pick up whatever you find along your way. It may be useful. Keep the towel and keep whatever else you find. So off she went on her journey. Perhaps I should take this bottle of oil. And here is some meat in case I get hungry. And see, some bread to go with it. And I expect someone will like this. This will help. How lucky that I picked up some good bread. Come in. Good day, Auntie. What do you want? Your sister has sent me to borrow a needle and thread. Very well. Sit down here and keep my loom going, and I'll go and get them for you. Eat up the bath and scrub my little niece clean. She'll make a dainty dinner for me. What are you doing, Black Cat? I'm hoping to catch a mouse or two. For three days I haven't been fed and I'm starving. Here, try this meat instead. Little one, do you want to escape from here? Oh, indeed I do. Then run while the witch is in the bathhouse. When she chases you, throw down your towel. When she catches up again, and she will, then throw down your comb. Quick, quick, there's no time to say more. Are you weaving, little niece? You! Why didn't you stop her? Because she gave me good meat, while you've never given me anything but old bones. Why didn't you tear her to pieces? Because she gave me good bread, while you never give me anything but dry crust. Here, Tree, wear this ribbon. Why didn't you squeak when she opened you? Because she eased us with oil, while you've never even put water on us. Her. Because she gave me this lovely ribbon, while you've never even trimmed me.
when the father heard that his new wife had sent his little girl off to be eaten by a witch, he recognized then that she, too, was a witch. Why, you... you! And he turned her out forever. And kind-hearted to the last, the little girl did not forget her friend. And the three of them lived happily together. <laughs>